myself over. That'd suck. Yeah, that suck. I think I'll get out of the way. Hello, Americans. Another friends subscribing around the world. Clean this little mess. What happens when we get an old uh, base? Top seals like this around this. So I had this thing lifting yesterday. Not extreme. Day started it up and uh, that ain't coming up at all. Did get the had the implement on or the blade on yesterday and got it up about that much. I don't know if I filmed any of that. Like I've said before, man, I don't do a lot of filming of the things I do because everybody trying to tell me how to do it. And when you're in the middle of doing it, this is the last shit you want to hear. You're doing this wrong. You should do this. You should do that. Dude, if I did everything that everybody tells me to do, man, I wouldn't get nothing done because I'd be changing everything all the freaking time. But I'm thinking. Find out. Fucking the, the freaking uh, manual that I have for this thing just sucks. I'm looking for another manual in there, but I had it yesterday, you know, it would have been just half-assed, but I had it working yesterday to where it would have, I'd have been able to plow, but I started messing with a few other things because I wanted it to, it wasn't lifting high enough, man. I remember brand new brand new uh, hydraulic transmission fluid I just put in there is turned creamy white. To me that means freaking uh, more water. That's 200 bucks. Subscribers around the world. Back again, man. So, uh, as you can see out here, pretty darn early. Uh, it's probably 5 30 or something right now. I've been late. I've been late. I don't know, it's 6 o'clock. I got up at 5 15 or something. Running late this morning. But today, uh, as it turns out, we thought we were uh, done with the fish fences. But, uh, hey, the turn. Kai, Grizz, Daisy, deer, bears, or mountain lions, foxes, who the heck knows what's out there. But got the, checked in, got the call to 
the run back up again this morning. And then Miss Cara, it was her birthday yesterday, so happy birthday, Cara. Day late now on this video. Uh, but she's got stuck. She's going to uh, she's going to run the fences with us today. I think we're gonna take the the exploder up today. It should be pretty pretty uh well, shouldn't be too many problems, but I didn't think there's gonna be too many dang problems on Friday, and it turned out to be pretty dang busy and crazy. You know, you got all them hunters up there and humans doing stuff to the fences. So this may be the last day, or we may end up running again. I'll find out after I get down. Down. Uh, seem to have so many hunters up there is part of the reason, or going back up today and the weekends you know humans tend to do things to uh, fences and stuff man I just get um, or blurries all in it yesterday uh, I started this video I don't even know if I'll cut any of it uh, don't even know if I'll uh, cut any of that in but yesterday I was actually out um uh, Messed around with the tractor, and the day before yesterday, you know, I put it all back together, man. And I was getting some rise on that uh, on the lift on the back, and then uh, I was reading and everything. And from what I was reading in the manual and online and stuff like that, it looked like I'd put too much hydraulic fluid. Well, at the time. After I'd put the new fluid in and everything like that, these dogs got to have their morning attention. Um, after I'd put the fluid in, and hey, don't paw. Uh, man, the lift was working just a little bit, man. It would lift up, but it would only lift the blade just barely. So uh, I thought, well, heck, man, if I can put too much fluid, maybe, you know, backing it down on the fluid will make the lift work better. So I ended up dumping some fluid out, putting it back together, and then uh, then the freaking then you know started up all that and tried to do the lift and it wouldn't lift at all. So I'm like, well, crap, dude. So I put uh, put the fluid back in, put the, what I'd taken out, put it back in it, and it still wouldn't lift at all. And then it started it was leaking out the cylinder. So I was like, holy crap, dude, one step forward, two steps back. And the day before, which it's not how I want to run it, but the day before I was getting the blade up enough where I could have actually, I could, you know, plow my dang driveway, but I wanted to, you know, I want everything to be functioning and working uh, correctly. So back to the drawing board on that. We'll get it. We'll just keep fiddle farting around with it till I get it. Trying to... Um, understand it dude if, I'll tell you what you google freaking old farm all tractors and everything and holy crap and took so many different systems hydraulic systems that they've used probably gonna order another manual not too uh this was just a thin one man I want more more details oh and then man people have been asking too how uh my brother's doing I've actually talked to him on the phone the last couple days in a row man he sounds great and just biting at the bit to get out of there. You know, it's all about the oxygen levels and stuff. And his oxygen levels without assistance are a little bit lower than they want. So they're just holding him in there for that. But he's ready to, sounds good, and ready to get out there and get after it. So thank God, man. Damn stuff. And I just had another friend, man. And I don't know if, uh, uh he was vaccinated or not vaccinated. That's the first thing people freaking start throwing at me. But here local in our county, a friend of mine, Bill, was life flighted. Oh, man, it's probably been, it was, I think it was Saturday. Maybe that was up now. Maybe it was Friday. It was life flighted down. Um, he wasn't doing good, so they life-flighted him down, and uh, 
I need to actually check this morning to see if I hear anything, but he wasn't doing too good, but he's showing some improvement, man. So, man, put Bill in your, your thoughts and prayers. That's pretty much the happening. The happenings around here, and happy birthday to Carl. I think I already said that. You know, like I said, she's going to go up the mountain with us today, so I'm sure we'll take our shotguns. Last time I was up there, uh, seen four grouse, man, and I chased them down into steep, steep uh, canyon. But uh, then I seen them run across the road, so I grabbed the shotgun stuff, went down, followed them down in there, and never did see or hear them again. Didn't get no grouse that day. And then we're talking about going on an adventure tomorrow. We'll see what uh, what plays out, but maybe going up to that ghost town or something tomorrow, me and Miss Kitty. Of course, if we do that, we'll take you along. This morning, mostly, man, just a little morning quick coffee chat around the fire. <laughs> it, uh, getting ready to watch my four minutes of news. Listen to some. I didn't even really uh, watch or hear too much over the over the weekend, man. I get, get tired of all the doom and gloom. Now the one thing I'll tell you, whether it, you know, whether it's all manipulated or not, is I've always been prepared, man. You know, like I said, they used to think we were wackos and stuff. You know, stocking up and just being being ready for things. And whether they're manipulating or whether it's a bunch of fake news or real or whatever, man. Better be prepared. You know, I know all them pictures of them ships and all that out in them ports and you know. The shorties, I ain't really seeing shorties as I'm seeing price hikes on everything though. I think that's what they're after. Seen those new stickers that uh, I'd like to get some put them on. That there's actually one on one of our pumps. If I get fuel or whatever today and it's on there, I'll show you. But it's kind of Biden pointing, I did this or I did that it's with a point, and then they put a sticker point at the price. Of it. It's pretty fun, true story. What, Kai? Oh man. That's all I got, man, for you, Dad. I tried to do a video a day and started that one yesterday. And some days I just ain't feeling it, man. <laughs> I just wasn't feeling it yesterday. I tried to get out one day. Hey, good morning, Miss Kitty. Morning. Just finishing up this, just in time. Good morning. To, did you want to get on this video? I'm good. <laughs> Miss Kitty just got up. So, that's about all I got for you, man. Now I'm going to visit with my little woman. Have some coffee and wait for Miss Carr to get here, and then we'll take you up the hill and take you along with us. So, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Helps keep the lights on. The home fire is burning. And poop ain't thanks, Lou. And check out the links and the eBay store and the t shirts. And hoping to do some new t shirts here real soon. So, good Lord willing. And them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. <laughs> you can't even hardly talk. There you go.